I am Lisa Rowett and I am a visual artist. I've worked for 30 years with the subject matter of primates, but really with the idea that humans are part of that group. So it's really looking at humans through a closest animal relative. The work at Mom Graham is just a hand, but that hand is so close to the human hand that you can't help but to compare your own hand. There's that realisation that we really are connected. The committee at Melbourne Grammar approached me about producing a concept for the sculpture walk. I had to take into consideration the ethos of the school, the boys, how they would respond to the work, what they would get out of the work. I chose this particular work because I felt that the chimpanzee would be the closest animal relative to us. The boys will be able to look at these works and start comparing themselves, trying to understand what is it that makes us different and what makes us similar. I try and make the work as anatomical as possible. I want it to be as close to the real thing. This particular work, I took a palm print in plaster and then I've modelled the rest of the hand and carved the rest of the hand around it. Once I was happy with that finished artwork, I took it to the foundry where they created a large mould of that work. Not unlike an Easter egg, wax is poured into a mould. So it's hollow, it's a five mil thickness in this wax, and they then coat it in a plaster product, which is then put into the kiln with the wax inner inside. And when that's cured inside the kiln at a very high temperature, it is brought out a molten bronze, is poured into that plaster mould. Bronze takes over and creates that exact positive inside the mould. When that's cooled, it's broken open, and each of those pieces of bronze are knitted together to create the whole. The patina is the final stage, which is a colouring, not just a paint process, it's actually a chemical process that's heated onto it, more like an enamel. The fingers feel like they're gesticulating and I wanted them to be pointing to the sky. This sculpture will be part of the sculpture walk, which is such a great thing for students to walk around and experience every day. Art will enrich their lives going into the future, and the language of art is a powerful language that is very different than all other languages. It taps into a part of the brain and a part of the psyche in ways that, that other languages don't, and that's so important for the education of the students.